Hello, Gemini. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for the week of March 22nd through the 28th. Thank you so much for joining me today, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. And please subscribe, hit that like button, and join me daily for my quick glance daily readings. Now keep in mind, these are general readings and will not resonate with everyone. You can obtain a private reading by clicking the link to my website below. And also be sure to watch your rising sign and moon sign, which might resonate with you more for this particular week. I'm working with the Morgan Greer tarot deck for this week's reading, so let's get started and see what your cards are indicating for you for this week. Okay, Gemini. First card. Five of Pentacles. Next, Ace of Pentacles. And the Major Arcana card, the Hanged Man. Now your direction card for the week is Unexpected Visitors. And your crystal for the week is Obsidian. And let me get, okay, the obsidian crystal here. And your angels of Atlantis card is balance from Gabriel. Okay. Okay, Gemini. So at first glance, first message that's coming through is that Things are not as they seem, Gemini. That's the best way I can describe the messages coming through from my guides. It's almost like you have blinders on, that you're seeing things kind of playing out in a certain way, and you're thinking there's no other options. But your cards here are indicating what can be taking place this week, as well as indicating what you need to do. There is a strong element here throughout your reading, your cards, indicating to strengthen your base, your first chakra. So it's about truly getting grounded and centered this week, Gemini. So taking a look at your first card, and right off the bat, you have the Five of Pentacles, which is creating in your mind a lack of security kind of feeling vulnerable, unstable. And for some of you, this can represent your health and well-being. So you need to be very mindful of your physical body, Gemini. Make sure you're doing what's best for your health. And if something's out of whack, off kilter, you need to find out what's going on and get that corrected. So that's a really important message that's being brought to my attention to relate to you, Gemini. Now, the Five of Pentacles here can certainly be indicating that you're not alone and you have support around you. But it's also an indication of your co-partnership with spirit. We have the stained glass in the back. And you really need to tap into that at this time. Spiritual connections can be very important in times of need. Now, the Five of Pentacles is Taurus's card. It's a very determined, persevering energy. This card's ruled by Mercury, so it has to do with communication, possibly your perception as well, Gemini. And the number five energy of this card is a challenge that you're dealing with. It's repre presenting, you might be headed in a new direction, but this is the challenge or the initial struggle as you start to go down that path. And the number five energy is one of breaking your old habits, shaking things up. It's lessons learned, Gemini. Keep in mind, five is the number of the throat chakra, which has to do with communication. So not only is this card ruled by Mercury dealing with communication, the number five energy of this card is the throat chakra, also dealing with communication. 
Now associated with the five of pentacles is your first chakra. So this is your root or base chakra. And at first glance with your reading, there's a strong indication to strengthen or ground yourself this week, Gemini. So with this being your root or base chakra, this is your chakra of grounding. So for some of you, this chakra could be off balance and this could have a lot to do with how you're thinking, how you're communicating, and also once again, your health. Now your next card here, the Ace of Pentacles. Lots of symbols and messages for you to be aware of, Gemini. Now first, this is a gift from the divine. This is an opportunity for you to have real concrete growth. Now this could be the beginning of a new project or a new endeavor. But this is also a chance for you to improve your health. This can be some kind of gift that you can use to your advantage, possibly money that you could invest in for your future. And for some of you, this could be a new job opportunity, a chance for a promotion, or even the opportunity to start your own business. But one of the main messages of the Ace of Pentacles is telling you it's time to strengthen your roots, to ground and center your body, and begin building the foundation for your future. So this ties directly into your first card here, the Five of Pentacles, which is indicating that's what is specifically off balance. And the Ace of Pentacles is the opportunity coming in for you, Gemini, to straighten everything out. Now, really taking a look at everything that's being presented to you on this card, the hand here coming in is the divine intervention. It's a gift for you holding this pentacle. Now the pentacles are all about the body and the material realm. So this can involve your health, money, work, your security. And then the red rose symbolize passion, taking action. Now on the other side here with the white lilies, that's a symbol of purity and innocence. Now, most important on the card here is the arch here. Arches are openings to new paths and represent the possibility of something new taking place. But the most important thing to know about when the arch shows up, you see the path here leading up to the arch. You have to take the action and step through the arch before knowing where it's actually leading you. So it's kind of taking that leap of faith, like with the Fool card. Now you've got some really nice white clouds on this card, which actually represent like an epiphany that you might have this week. So the arch is like a new opportunity. Now many times the Ace of Pentacles can be indicating to spend time in nature. And that's where you're going to find your inspiration or possibly your epiphany here. But the Ace of Pentacles, this opportunity, this is not going to fall into your lap. You need to take the first steps to go through this archway. Move forward without knowing particularly what's on the other side. So this gift from the divine has to be grasped and brought to fruition. Now, your next card here is the Major Arcana card, the Hanged Man. And the Major Arcana cards show up when there's some kind of life event taking place. Not your everyday routine. We're talking about moving house, getting married, starting a new job. Things that are more considered life events. And the Hanged Man showing up, indicating you need to see things in a different way. And that's what I was picking up here at first glance with your cards, that you're seeing something almost with blinders on. You're not seeing other ways to look at maybe a situation that you could be dealing with. 
Now, when the hangman card shows up, it's a card indicating you need some patience and a new perspective. This is about just letting go and stop trying to control the present situation at hand that some of you might be dealing with. It's kind of addressing your Five of Pentacles card where you're feeling vulnerable, uncertain about things, unstable. And the Hangman card is saying, try to make peace with it. And more importantly, the Hanged Man card is telling you to take some time to observe your environment and situation from this new perspective. Now, it's personally one of my favorite cards because you're getting a different viewpoint. You're looking at something with a fresh pair of eyes. That's what tarot reading is all about, making you think differently, see things differently, be aware. And seeing the hanged man is represented as hanging upside down is truly a visual to look at things in a different way. This has a very strong connotation with this card, and it's an indication to really tap into the spiritual aspects of yourself, Gemini. This card's associated with your seventh chakra. That's your crown chakra, your direct connection with the divine. So far, all your cards here have been indicating to get in touch with spirit or reconnect or strengthen your co-partnership with spirit. Now, the Hangman card is ruled by the planet Neptune. Not many cards are. It's associated with mystery, illusion, your imagination, visions. And the number 12 energy of the Hangman card reduces down to three. So it's a very positive energy, a very creative type of energy. It's something coming together to become something more, which certainly can be you looking at things differently seeing options, alternatives, different viewpoints. And many times, usually in hindsight, the Hayman card reveals blessings that come out of hardship. So for some Geminis, some type of sacrifice might be required. All the more reason to get the guidance from spirit, get grounded, get centered, and meditate to connect with spirit for guidance and direction. Now, your numerology here for your three tarot cards is number 18, which reduces down to nine. Now, your numerology with the number nine is the same as your hangman card. It's a time of review, looking at what has taken place and where you want to go, looking for different alternatives, different options. Now, let's take a look at your oracle cards here. And first, we have your card for direction for this week. And you have unexpected visitors. This is a fantastic card in energy for you, Gemini, because this card is actually telling you if you expect the unexpected, then you can be prepared for miracles. So this card showing up could be detours, surprises, paradigm shifts, but expect the unexpected. It's an exciting energy. This is indicating no matter how detailed your plans are and how clear you believe the road ahead is to be, there are times when your best laid plans are maybe crushed by unforeseen circumstances. Now, here's the special thing with this card. At first, those detours may seem inconvenient. But a surprise turn of events signals that the adventure of life is just beginning to get interesting. So Gemini, no one can plan for synchronicity, for fate and destiny to meet except for spirit. Who knows? You can't comprehend this. So this card showing up for you is letting you know life can be full of surprises. So stay on your toes, Gemini, and enjoy this exciting new adventure that you weren't expecting. There is a plan for your life that may not match up with your agenda, Gemini. So once again, expect the unexpected. Now your crystal for the week is obsidian 
which is a strong crystal for protection. So your angels and guides want you to have this very protective crystal this week. It concerns your root chakra, which seems to be a running theme throughout your reading this week. This is giving you grounded, protective energy. You're going to be feeling like you're protected on all levels, Gemini. And one special message when this card shows up is to really pay attention of your surroundings. And if you start to feel any feelings or warnings about where you're going or what you're doing, do not dismiss those feelings. You might even change your plans, especially if you're by yourself, Gemini. Pay attention. If you have a bad feeling about a particular place or an event or anything of that nature, do not go. Your angels and guides are suggesting for you to have the obsidian crystal on you at all times this week. And there is possibly someone around you that is quite draining. A very draining energy around you. Draining your energy, Gemini. A negative energy in your life. So you need to protect yourself from absorbing that energy. And the obsidian crystal here will help remove negativity. And it's actually going to restore your energy, Gemini. So once again, your readings kind of all center around being centered and grounded and strengthening your root chakra, strengthening your co-partnership with spirit. Now, your Angels of Atlantis Oracle card here is from Gabriel, indicating balance. This is a strong message from this archangel, indicating you've been too busy and wishes you to become more earthed, you might say, more grounded. Pay attention to what your past actions have done to upset your balance, your equilibrium excuse me, equilibrium. So whenever your yin and yang force moves out of balance, your energy is going to drop. So once again, this is an indication for meditation, stillness, so that spirit and your angels and guides can help you by removing your burdens. So take some time, meditate with the obsidian crystal and gaze at the integrated intelligence of Leonardo da Vinci's art that is here on the card. You're going to start to feel a different state. Your energy is going to start to emerge. Your balance is going to start to come back. And that's what's needed in your life right now, Gemini. Now for an overall summary here for your reading, Gemini, you're starting off with the energy of the Five of Pentacles. Which is kind of being stuck in like a victim mentality state of mind, thinking you have no options, you're feeling vulnerable, unstable. Things aren't happening how you thought they would occur. And the number five energy of this card is creating difficulty and upset. It's upsetting your balance. And this can be in regards to your health and well-being. This can be something financial. But know that help here is nearby. This is indicating that spiritual connection can be a vital source in helping you out this week. Your next card, the Ace of Pentacles, is presenting you with the opportunity for better health a better future, a new opportunity coming in. Could be a new job, a new relationship, a promotion, a new business. And all the symbols here on this card, as I discussed previously, are clues and indications of how to proceed. But whenever the aces show up, you have to grab the opportunity to make it come to fruition. So you have to take the first step, Gemini. Now that could be in regards to your health. You have to take the first step by checking into it, going to the doctor, taking the steps to find out what's wrong and to get yourself better, healthy. Now, in regards to employment, you have to put yourself out there. No job's just going to fall in your lap. 
you have to apply to as many places that you can. And the more places you apply to, the better your odds are in your favor. And for others, if you're dealing with this situation, you have to take some steps to try to help resolve it. And the hangman card showing up is indicating some kind of life event taking place. And that can be getting married, getting a new job, moving house, buying a house. These are all considered life events. And the Hanged Man card is telling you to strengthen your spiritual connections, to view your situation from a different point of view. Look at it with a fresh pair of eyes. There are more alternatives and options available. So for some Geminis, you need to take off the blinders and stop thinking in the same old way. Your numerology here is number nine, which is a time for review, the same as your hangman card, looking at where you've come from and where you wanna go. And in hindsight, the hanged man card is always valuable, as you will see where sometimes blessings will come out of hardship. Your directional card for the week is unexpected visitors. This is a card specifically telling you to expect the unexpected. This is already telling you, Gemini, that no matter how much you plan for something, there can be unforeseen circumstances showing up. And this kind of ties into your Hanged Man card, because this card's saying, at first, this might indicate a big inconvenience to you, but there can be a surprise turn of events that makes things very interesting. Now, the only one that controls fate and destiny to meet is spirit. So be sure you strengthen your co-partnership with spirit at this time. There can be something that spirit is planning for you that just might not be on your agenda, but a very positive energy coming in. Your crystal for the week is obsidian. Have it with you at all times. Your entire reading is indicating to strengthen your co-partnership with spirit. Get that psychic protection. Trust in your intuition. If something's telling you there's danger or anything that raises a red flag, take heed of that warning, Gemini. Do not go to that area, that event, or whatever it is. The obsidian crystal helps protect you. It removes negative energy, and it will restore your energy as well. And your Angels of Atlantis card is coming from Gabriel, indicating a need for balance and the need for you to be grounded, centered, and your life to be in balance. So Gemini, you have some pretty straightforward cards here indicating how you might be thinking and how you should be thinking. Also possibly how you're communicating and how you should be communicating. The Ace of Pentacles is a gift from the divine being presented to you this week to straighten things out, to get grounded, centered, balance, and to certainly expect the unexpected. So Gemini, I'm going to say hold on to be open to what energy is coming in this week for you. But most importantly, meditate, connect to spirit. But most of all, Trust in your own intuition this week more than anything else. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe and help support my channel if you haven't already. And for private readings with me, click on my website link below. Love and abundance to my Gemini family.